Having a bad day, Shepard? You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. A uh, control panel, right. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Go to hell. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Is there an easier way around? You could say that. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Ugh! Damn it! How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? Those troops had you on the ropes, Jack. I just saved your ass. <sighs> you want a medal? No. I'd like you to shut up so we can get moving. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. <sighs> then talk about it some more. No offense. Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> If that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. Let's get you out of there. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish! At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> you go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. You come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. 
Then we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. Now, please release Krogan. Gara said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. This sounds like Garrus. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. Even more distracted. Nice try. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Fucking idiots. Fuck your feelings. Big fucking bomb. What, does she have a swear jar or something? Cause I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry about your offspring have an allergy to dairy and da 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 Well, it wasn't his ear. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. It's gotta be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> no comment. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but... I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go and maybe you walk. All right. Take her. But I want out alive. Deal. Ah! No deal. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. 
I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. No, leave him! He's too valuable! You even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. Excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah, I think she's aware of that. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Man, I love show business. I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. I should go. She said, I should go. Do I sound like that? Uh, yeah, kinda. I should go. I should go. I should go. Wish I could go.